hey what's up guys it's mac here and in this video i'm going to show you how to get the ios like control center on your android phone so without any further ado let's dive in so to get this feature on your phone quickly navigate into the play store and search for the app called quick control panel install the first app which says quick control panel As soon as the app is installed and you hit on open button, the quick control center will pop up. As you can see now, the quick control panel is now running. You can just go into the settings if you want more functionality, go hit on the quick control panel, then go into the launch setting. As you can see, many options are available here. If you want this app to work on your lock screen too, make sure you take the enable swipe detector on lock screen option. Now I'll quickly lock my phone and show you how this works on the lock screen. So as you can see, I'm able to access this feature from the lock screen too. Now let's take a look at other settings which are available here. As you can see there is a blue bar at the bottom. This is where you have to actually tap and swipe up to get to the quick control panel. As you can see there is an option which says swipe detector height which will actually increase and decrease the height of the detector area. This option here will increase and decrease the width of the detector area. So now as you can see here I have got more area to swipe up so that I can access the quick control panel. Moving downwards you can see a enable vibration option. If you have a tick mark then you will get a vibrating feedback every time you touch the detector area. Now let's take a look at the general settings as you can see here we can enable it in the landscape mode too and we can also apply an icon back of our own. Now going into the color settings as you can see here there are three types of themes given here if I click on the white theme it will give me a white control panel. Now I'll quickly show you how the other ones look like there is a black one and another is the material one. Now let's take a look at the music section. If you have this option enabled which is enable music panel then you will be able to access the music from the quick control center but first you need to enable it from the services then hit on enable then tick mark the option which says music control services and then hit on allow. But before that you need to set a default player which you are going to use it in the quick control panel. In my case I am going to use the Savan app so I will quickly select the Savan. So as you can see here the music section is now enabled and I'll be able to control the music from the quick control panel itself. Now let's take a look at the shortcut section. If you have this option enabled then you will be able to select the apps which you want to access from the quick control center. You can select the shortcuts which you want to be in the quick control panel to access them quickly. In my case I'm going to show you a camera app. So as you can see now I've selected the camera app and when I swipe up there is a camera icon which appears at the top of the quick control panel and when I hit it on it as you can see the camera app is now open onwards there is a shortcut size toggle if you increase it the size of the app in the control panel will increase so if I move it more as you can see I've increased it the size of the app which is selected has increased in the quick control panel I'll just quickly add one more shortcut to the quick control center so as you can see here now I can quickly access the camera as well as the whatsapp app from the quick control center now moving on to the information section if you have it enabled you will be able to see the time date as well as the battery percentage of your phone. Now moving on to the next setting which says the panel order here you can basically change the order of the panel which you want them to appear in the quick control center. Now as you can see here my music app has now moved downwards and my toggle settings have moved upwards. So that's pretty much about this app guys it is a pretty handy app which you can install on your phone it supports android 4.0 and up and it you will be able to quickly access the settings from anywhere so it's very useful so that's pretty much about this video guys if you like my video give it a thumbs up and please do subscribe to my channel for more such tech videos